Most people never actually contemplate parallel graph analytics, yet we benefit from its behind-the-scenes work on a daily basis. An internet search can only return meaningful results by analyzing vast amounts of data, currently over 50 billion web pages and 1 trillion hyperlinks. Product recommendations by Netflix or Amazon are possible because computer programs interpret our as well as millions of other users' past preferences. How can computational algorithms be improved to stay ahead of the ever-growing complexity of these data graphs? Join us at the University of Texas, Austin, where we speak with Keshav Pingali and Andrew Linharth of the Department for Computer Science. My group works on high-performance parallel computing, and in the past few years, we've been studying the problem of how to exploit parallelism in graph applications. A graph is a model of data which has nodes, which are entities, and edges between these nodes, and edges are some relationship between these underlying entities. Maybe the simplest example of a graph that we're all familiar with is a highway map. In a highway map, the nodes are the cities, and the edges are the routes or the highways connecting different cities. Another similar example of a data graph would be an airline routing map. Both of these have a planner structure, as opposed to web connection graphs, which are random. The problems for computing arise from both the sheer size of the data sets, as well as the diversity of the graph structures involved. The graphs that we deal with nowadays are very large. For example, the Facebook graph has about a billion nodes and about 200 billion edges. So parallel computing is essential to extract information from graphs of this size in reasonable time. Over the past few years, we've obtained a lot of insight into how to implement parallel algorithms for graph problems on shared and distributed memory machines. One key insight is that a lot of graph algorithms have a form of parallelism that we call amorphous data parallelism. Another key insight is that different kinds of graphs, like for example high and low diameter graphs, require different kinds of algorithms. We have incorporated these insights into a system that we call the Galois system that makes it easy to program algorithms for all these kinds of problems and to run them in parallel on large scale parallel machines. What might the future hold? Research is ongoing and may include new domain specific languages and novel processor architecture. One thing is certain, our world is not about to become less complicated in the years to come. The size of the graphs that we have to deal with is going to keep increasing. So we believe that graph applications and efficient parallel processing of graph queries is going to grow in importance as the days go by. Learn more in the contributed article, Parallel Graph Analytics, in the May 2016 issue of Communications of the ACM.